everybody and welcome to another video. So as I said, today's video, I'm going to show you guys the three easy steps, what it takes to become a sommelier. So the first thing you want to keep in mind is, do you like customer service? Do you like serving wine? Um, have you ever been a waitress or worked in the front of the house of a restaurant? That is usually the starting point. That's my best piece of advice is have a little bit of that experience, know what it's like to work a floor of a restaurant, especially a fine dining restaurant and get some of that experience, see how you feel about it. And that is your starting point. The next thing that I would suggest that you do if you're interested in becoming a sommelier is go to the court of master sommeliers.org. And I'm definitely not sponsored by the court or anything like that. This is just the program that I use to advance my own career and to get my sommelier certification. So that website will give you a ton of information it's the most highly acclaimed international program for being certified as a sommelier. And it started, I believe, in London, and it's the biggest program in the United States outside of the WSCT, the Wine Spirit Education Trust. So those are the two programs I would look into. And the WSCT is more catered to the business of wine, the marketing of wine, and kind of the industry as a whole, where the Court of Master Sommeliers is more service driven and working in a restaurant environment. And the reason why that they're different and might cater to a specific personality or a specific person, the WSCT is more catered to a wine professional and the wine business as a whole and more marketing and business and strategy where the Court of Master Sommeliers is devoted to service, to floor service and working in a restaurant environment and you know being in service of wine and that's pretty much the biggest difference between the two so yeah so step number three would just be just go out there get some real world experience stay abreast of wine trends what's happening and the number one platform for finding a job in the wine business is winejobs.com and there is an array of skill sets and jobs and roles and it's kind of like the LinkedIn for the wine business as a whole. So between marketing and sales specialist, a winemaker, a harvest intern, you can find it all there. And that is my third largest resource to advancing your career as a sommelier or just a wine professional as a whole. So I hope you like those little pieces of advice. Those are my three top tips slash resources for advancing your career as a som or a wine professional. And now let me tell you a little bit about what is a sommelier. 